such an interesting part of this lineup. Literally doing everything that is necessary for this team. And already out of the gate, we're just getting a big scuffle over here at P-Long. Just a bunch of frags being exchanged out of that one. Defense, though, are going to be a little tattered out of that, but they'll be okay. They will still have that number's advantage. Tom, Magician's just going to look to see if he can work his way onto the A site. Certainly, pistol rounds very important. For Homeless, they have a 65% win rate on pistol rounds coming into this tournament. Mm -hmm. And if they can kind of improve on that, if they can continue to have their success, I mean, that's kind of four rounds that you can find yourself just in one game if you can have that pistol success. But T1 have an even better pistol success rate, which is the scary factor. 81% of pistol rounds they've won in this tournament, only dropping three pistol rounds. And of those three pistol rounds, they went on to win the kind of Antico round that follows. So they are a scary force in these early stages. T1's just scary in general. And I know that the conversation for T1 has been like, well, they're so good. Why haven't we seen them play in every North American tournament? And honestly, I wish I can answer that question for you, but it does look good right now. So I'm trying to answer the question himself of how he's actually going to get onto the site and successfully win this round now, but it's food in the backfield has his teammates back. So yeah, in this tournament, but we'll see whether they can change that and kind of ruin that statistic for me. Okay, well, Steph is going to try and get on site, but AZK is going to stuff him down there with the SMG, so handle that business with the Spectre. A few more are going to be located here right by B Long, which AZK gets the information that at least one is going to be located there. And also this angle is going to be quite scary. Kills away at the wrong time, and it's going to be Superman that gets the better of him with a classic. Skava will still have some support in the backfield. And they're just, looks like they're going to just bolt on over to the TP side. They're poised with the kill. Just going to try and keep this drive alive for this team. They're going to get onto the site and they're looking pretty solid here, Gaskin. This is, you said that they haven't really been able to win that second round. But so far, things are looking pretty decent here for the attackers. Yeah, this is where they take that statistic and they shove it and rub it in my face. And I'm perfectly okay with that because this is the round they need to win if they're really going to take T1 to a game here. They need to kind of get T1 out of their groove, make sure they're not confident. Don't allow them to play their way. Instead, take the game to them. Try and take them out of that comfort zone and then they might find a little bit of success. If it makes you feel any better, I predicted Gen G to lose the tournament one time because they lost the map by like, I think it was like 16% or something. The numbers don't really matter. And it seems like the numbers aren't going to matter here either, Gaskin, because it, the numbers were right. I believe that was a Spectre. All these skins are changing now. I feel like I'm going crazy. Just as we say that, Poise end up picking up two picks from that one, Gaskin. Looking good so far. Yeah, looking good, but maybe... Crash is going to do some work here. He's just going to go into his own cyber cage. He will manage to get straight on. No, he doesn't. Superman <sighs> wow. will respond perfectly there. I mean, he was caught off guard. He was just able to turn. And I guess that's the, the difference between having a phantom and having a bulldog. Oh, exactly. The damage output's going to be different. Scott's going to have oh. this angle here. Waits for one, waits for two, gets two. Wow, great play from Scott as he looks to locate the third. But Lasky's there to stop him right in his tracks. They will get that spike back up. And that looked like it could have gone real poorly there for for homeless they managed to keep this one going and they will get that spike down on b leaving just food in a 1v3 we'll get scouted out here by the owl drone and you're asking for something quite herculean here from food but you know he has been playing on fire for the c1 team it's not impossible. I think he's waiting if anyone's going to try and challenge around the corner. He's good now. Doing his due diligence as well, checking all his corners. Knows that typically one's going to be inside a hookah. He knew it, but Poise just had his number and was able to take him out. That is going to give him that third round win that they needed, right? A little bit of a mix up now going into round four. It's going to affect the. It could be the one player. It's going to be food in showers and. Maybe he can catch a player off guard here and do a little bit of damage. If he gets this kill, it actually could be pretty big. And he is going to get the kill. So that means he gets the weapon as well as his orbital strike is now going to come online. They can use that for some stall or to retake this site if they really want to. But it's going to be real challenging for them to do it. Sky uses Hunter's Fury. 
threw some uh threw some shots out didn't really connect with any anything but did slow down that plan ultimately they are able to get this one down now the team's gonna look to group up here to make their way through the attacker side and saw is gonna get caught in the corner brax is gonna be there for the connection superman though with two and even though food he did manage to get out that orbital strike he didn't get any kills with it leaving just one player left alive and that just everything he did there that, that round giving them the sight retaking it along with the orbital strike he was able to do the job that he needed to get value like inherent value out of it right could be a tangible or intangible you know in this instance it was just the idea of pushing them all back we were able to benefit from that one greatly. Oh, Scott just got the top of the hat of Cypher. There goes the orbital strike. Lasky, though, is going to get the better of him with a blast pack. Brax, though, where, there to meet Lasky on his descent down. Finds one player in the corner, but Poise somehow, some way, manages to win out that fight against Brax. In the backfield, though, going to be a few kills going to the favors of Homeless, okay. and that is going to be a second round win here and opposite ends here on bind superman will get the spike down you know i think they're rotating because they probably watched those games yesterday as well from homeless and homeless they went out of eight of their 12 attacking rounds they went towards a site they very rarely went towards b and i think t1 were just kind of gambling on that and saying well what do we think they're going to do here after that b execute they're probably going to go back to way they weren't able to do anything with it it means now they just have to wait and they're gonna do what they can with this gamble and just save the ghosts that they've been able to purchase but uh i mean it was a, it was a risk and they weren't rewarded for it yeah they all grouped up at the same time they will get some encounters here and some exit frags potentially but it doesn't seem like anyone's gonna be running into the spawn there anytime soon uh but that will be a clean round and it Practicing something with a shot dart. Let's see where this one heads. I mean, that is a ridiculous shot dart, might I add. As yeah. Lasky's going to get the opening frag onto food. Poise will also follow up with a second. And it was just trying to connect with anyone that was outside of showers. And it's worked perfectly. They pushed onto the A site here. And they've got control of it. And Spike is going to go down, GB. That is a wild lineup. Even though it didn't lead to anything, just the fact that this team has been able to put that kind of strategy together. Def is going to have an angle here, but does not get a kill. AZK will get a headshot on the Def. You got Scott watching the backfield. As they try and uh, move on out. They they might win to, yeah, I think they're good. I mean, it, this is this is going to be another round win for Homeless. And that just means that they're going to be able to get this round, this this lead that I, I genuinely didn't expect to see. Homeless has given us some new material, Dan. Yeah, Homeless are showing us what they've been practicing on Bind. And when you consider the fact that they are a newly formed team as well, the stuff that they are providing it's impressive. is excellent. It, it, thing, the man came second place at the Fortnite World Cup. That is Joke's not over. an easy thing. You're he was dead. one of the more consistent players in that game, which is impressive. Unfortunately, also another consistent champion in his own right is Skadoodle, who stuffs down the, the Def and his poor Cypher. Brax just gonna play this one out. Now he's gonna get aggro here right by B short. Does identify one player. Superman is gonna get caught off guard and the spike is now gonna be down, prompting this rotation to come through. Som waiting this one out. He's gonna have to back away, but gets burned by the Molly. Oh man, Lasky though, still gonna be on site. Here comes the showstopper. Is it gonna be the bane of all these players' existence? No, instead it is Crashies who waited that one out. He gets a headshot, ends the round there, but oh, Brax, I love to push up into Hookah, and then the, the, the off, of course, just stopped anything. And here's the aggression yet again as Skadoodle once again taking down Death, and Death's not having a good time lurking on that B site. Indeed, he is not, my friend. It has been a struggle, without a doubt. We'll get called out. Crashies didn't locate what he was looking for, and then Lasky's gonna keep on pushing on through there in the showers. He's been hit or miss this game, but. Been working out more times than not. The last key maintaining control of the shower area. You're going to have these two players, three players, apologies, making their way through the attacker side or the defender side. I'm all over the place right now. I'm so sorry, Chad. 
everyone's just lolling at me. They're all laughing at me, Dan. Can you believe Is it? Is it going senile in your old age yet again, GB? And it's, it's okay. true. It's very like, true. We, we forgive you. you that's your it. one. That's your one. You'll be perfect for the rest of the cast now. I, I have to be, obviously. <laughs> you know, this community expects nothing less than perfection. But again, it was the, the Sova lineup and the recon bolt that allowed them to so successfully push onto the site. And now Lasky's just clearing things up onto Brask. And Brax is going to be another kind of save here for T1. They're backing off. They're getting away. But Boys wants a little bit of this action. AZK <laughs> denies it. But yet again, another perfect execute on. They're playing T1 close. This is what I did not expect to see, if I'm being honest with you, though. Crash, he's, he had this witness AZK just get bodied there, but Crash, he's going to be playing the cubby. Does manage to get one. Ooh, no, will not be able to stay alive. Played the cyber cage and uh, was kind of caught with his hand not on the gun quite there. Thought he would have actually gotten the tag on that player. Yeah, he got the first one. So. Yeah. Wasn't able to follow up and do the damage, but still two players remaining. Skadoodle did get a little bit of information there, and maybe they know there is going to be a rotation towards B. The Def is desperately trying to get out of Hookah here, but he is being careful. Knows that it is an easy peek from that defender's spawn. Two versus three, but Brimstone is low. Food is just going to be waiting over on that A site. And they've got time to work with here, GB. Oh, I don't think Brax saw. Def poked out the worst time there, and this actually could... This slow play could get into the minds of T1. But I think that they're just going to rest this one and wait it out. They have angles everywhere. They're, they're, they're very confident that they will be able to locate this. They have that numbers advantage. Oh, and Psalm just squeaked right by. So yeah. Psalm did a whole sweep around. And Food didn't see him. But he's going to see him here because he has no other choice. And he's going to meet him right at the front door. And he stuffs him at a short. And that is going to end this round here for a homeless. Uh, that was just uh, all manners of peculiar there. The Psalm combing the site, telling his... Skadoodles Owl Drone's going to give him a ton of information regarding where they're going to be on short. Scott's going to wait this one out. Does manage to get one. It's Psalm who falls victim to that shot there. Poise will bring his teammate back. Here comes the Hunter's Fury. Does tag one, but just as that happens, Def is there to help his teammates out. Now Def, he's going to just go on through. He went through the cyber cage, saw Brax, but apparently just did not have an angle to be able to take him out. AZK watching the corner. And a safe wall will bring back Scott, bring back that offer, and then give them a little bit of an advantage here as this team is going to opt to make their way over toward B long. Yeah, it's a heavy stack towards B, but everyone else on T1 are also this B site, except, of course, the Cypher, just a, a little lurky lurk. So even if they do TP here over towards the A site, which is possible, it is possible. We did see it once yesterday against Built by Gamers, and they did win that round, actually, but. Not much time to work with now. Only 30 seconds entering the site, and they walk straight into Braxton Skadoodle, who just make it short work. Just one player remaining now it is going to be Superman. Let's at least get another one. And suddenly makes it a one versus two, but Food finishes things off with the op in a little bit of brim on brim action. 6 5 now, Golden Boy in left in the tournament. Oh, we would have had it. a T1 versus 100 Thieves action, but uh, didn't work out because Homer said no, and here's the aggression yet again. Brax taking down exactly. Sam, and they instantly have that player advantage and all the information. From the neural theft that changes dramatically if psalm saw both players crouching on the box right by the window it really does but they're still going to be able to get the spike down so things are at the very least looking just a, a, a tad bit better for homeless they simply need to be able to find these frags and just as i say that though brax is going to be the one to find it instead all these ults are going to be used. Lasky's going to be in the backfield. Here oh. he goes. Pops the showstopper. And his teammates there to pick up another one. But Brax, he got himself three. It's now going to be a 1v2. Can Brax clutch this one out? Both players are going to be playing around lamps. Brax making a whole heap load of noise as he's going to just push his way forward here. Does locate one. Can he get the ace? Can he get the ace? As Brax, he's playing this one smartly. He's waiting to see if this is going to be a push from Poise. But Poise has a time. And Poise clutches it up. T1 just having a weak defense and maybe a, a great offense, but it's already not going to start off all that wonderful. 
Braxo does locate one. There is going to be two players there playing for each other, playing for the cross. And Lasky actually gets a little aggro, pushes out, but the ghost from Brax is true and lands a headshot. The wall placed down on lamps, thus preventing them from being able to get in front of them or, or take some presence behind. Now they're going to have to deal with death here at Heaven. 47 HP though, Shock Arrow lands right on its target. Jeff does get information. One's going to be located by the cubby. He's keeping his crosshair there. Does stink him. And finally, they will get the kill, leaving just only a few players left alive here to try and hold this one down. It's AZK. AZK with two and then Brack. We'll see if luck can be the factor here. Perhaps. <laughs> it ain't going to really look like that. Brax gets two kills there. There's Death though with a shorty. Okay. I peep. You got the Ronin skin, oh, the Ronin, you hear me? The the uh, Oni skin on that. Shout out to the Ronin skin Bulldog though. Uh, and now, T1 do get onto this site. It was looking good there for a moment. They're gonna be okay. There's only one player left inside of Hookah. It was Lasky, he made short work of him. Else, but he's actually gonna pop the nade, which is gonna slow things down, or at least you would think it would. It does, it gets one kill on food, a big kill, as a matter of fact. Brax will be sent right back. And the spike is not going to be down in front of the site here. Brax, you know, if there's a man who can make the play happen, it certainly would be him. He has 20 seconds remaining. And no one's going to be having eyes directly on it, but that slow orb is going to prevent him from being able to get that spike and place it. And finally, Homeless will be able to get themselves another round win, keeping this one incredibly close. Really quite a commanding force in the North American scene as they are going to push onto oh! site now. Lasky gets a two for one. Absolutely huge, but Brax is there to shut him down. But they've already been able to work their way onto this site as the rest of the team now rotate from Defender Sport. You got to stop that boy before he starts to pop off. It'll be scary for everyone else. And they managed to end that reign of terror. All right, now. How do they work to make this one? They got <laughs> just some. Another one of those. Recon darts gets him everything he needs some. He's looking down the barrel of the Hunter's Fury from Skadoodle. He has no fear and he gets the kills and Homeless managed to get onto site successfully giving themselves the lead once again. Something that T1 have to be careful with now. They're gonna march their way right on through the shower. Got three players stacked in there. Lasky is gonna get called out and the location was revealed. So he needed to be a little careful though, even through the smoke. And there goes Depp. Depp was waiting on the corner for the kill. Skadoodle manages to hold it down. Psalm though, Psalm with one kill on AZK and some damage done onto the Sage. Actually, I think that was onto the brim as a matter of fact. Either way, they do get the Sage down. And they're just tucked away inside of here. There goes the show. Oh, no. oh Scott gets two. Oh. Sky with the ace. Oh, my goodness. He just had. He's going to find Def here in a moment. Def's going to poke for this, and Def wins the battle. Def wins the battle and does manage to get off his ult. Crashy though, does win that exchange, and in turn, will use his. Oh, he's got all that info. Oh, and the res. Oh, and the snipe. Everything's there for T1 at the moment. It means they're going to burst onto this site. They've got running back to work with. They should easily take a site here, and the retake is going to be very difficult with just three members as Brax. He's going a hunt and doesn't have much running back left, though. He'll be sent back, but they've got the spike down. And the big question is, do you go for this retake? Looks like the answer is a very firm no. Yeah, Lasky and Def are financially not looking great. Same thing for Superman. It's just certainly not going to be worth it. So this will be a, a round win now for T1. They've managed to bring this one back after an incredible jaw-dropping ace there from Ska. And they'll follow that one up with another round win. So Gaskin, T1, they are heating up at the moment where they needed to, man. Because it was getting down to the wire. And this homeless team, they're hungry. They're hungry for an opportunity. And if you give it to them, they're going to take it. So they have to end this right in its tracks. We wouldn't expect this though, right? Like T1 should be able to excel in pressure situations when they wanted. And they would have identified that two players were in showers. So thus there was no reason for him to go in there 
and try and get more out of this. Like he already did the job, right? Oh, while this is going on though, Ska's doing his job, lands a Hunter Fury onto Poise. Some players are gonna be tagged though. Psalm's gonna be holding down the back and that is frustrating to be dealing oh, no. with that level of pressure. Psalm does see a player get really close to him there. Backs away right at the nick of time. And AZK, he was also gonna be pulled away from the attention, but Superman with two and the defenders, the defenders keep this thing going homeless. They may but their future in this scene. No one's close to an old quite yet. Pulaski playing an aggressive angle and showers. And that's smart, get the pick back up. You have the advantage because if you lose a player, your Sage will be able to bring you right back in. Poise is there. They slow down in Hookah too. They have no choice but to shoot that one down. Steph is going to be playing this angle here along with Poise. They're waiting for the footsteps. If they drop down, they have no choice but to commit to that sound cue that will typically happen when you make your way out of window. That is not going to be what T1 opts to do then. I instead, they're actually just going to be marching their way through the market. And if I'm correct, did get that indication uh, that through the Owl drone that one was going through the market. So perhaps, this, perhaps it will give them the intel that they need. Maybe in the utility and the smokes are going to come out now for T1. And it is going to be an A site take here. Or at least they're going to attempt that. But Lasky is going to get aggressive out of heaven. And here's oh. the Superman as well. Him and Sam have done so well holding sight. Skadoodle's doing a little bit of work with the op. Tries to go for a wall bang, but he's going to have to back off and probably get a save at this point. And it's going to be yet another round going in favor of Homeless, where their holds have just been too strong because they've been fearless. They've been pushing through smokes. They've been watching their angles correctly. And their, their crossfire has been incredible. The teamwork is on point now for Homeless. I think that Sam's owl drones and his recon darts have just been I'm on out. Two players are down. There goes the flash. Now they're going to get onto site here, but Sam and Superman are going to be there for the connection again. Boys waiting around the side. He's waiting for food to just poke this, but instead it's Superman who gets another kill over by the garden, though. It's Sam locates Crash. He's last player left alive. It's Skadoodle. You have the op, my friend. You have to make a play, but it's 1v4. 30 seconds remaining. Oh, man. And that's it. They, I mean, they, they really just have no options. He wants to do a little bit of damage to the economy whilst he gets out. I understand why they bought up in that round. They bought up around the op because it isn't guaranteed Skadoodle is going to be able to get an op in another round. Okay, yes, he might be able to keep it here, but I think they're going to go hunting. They're going to want to take oh, this yeah. op off him because it's going to be such a comfortable round if they can kill Skadoodle here. He needs to go clutch. He's got five seconds to try and do stuff. He does spot one player, but he lets him go. The trigger discipline is excellent and might just keep him alive. <laughs> No way. Oh, dude, that's so BM. <laughs> that's so messed up. I, oh, oh. He's going to get two. Manages to get another tag. Can he connect with anyone again? No, he can. He's done his job. He's got the info here, GB. Indeed he did. And Poise is going to get the kills. That's two for him. Playing in the back. Skadoodle ends him with the snipe. Two players left alive here for T1. This is the round. They need to keep this thing going if they want to have a chance. It is match point. Brax has been really nice with those mollies the entire time. Actually having to force out Death, but Death had no option to move around. So they get the kill. This has actually become a, a slightly manageable situation here, but it all depends on what Brax can do. They know Brax is located by Garden. He's making a lot of noise. They know that Ska is by Hookah. He's made a lot of noise as well. Brax is going to creep around this corner and he gets killed by Psalm, leaving only one player left alive. And Psalm's double ends the game and Homeless go up by one versus T1 here in the quarterfinals. I can't.